Prayer for Joy, written and read by Jessica Van Ruckel. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, 22-23 I know what it's like to feel joyless in the dark gray days of life. My Midwest winters blanket my world with snow and gray skies, and I can feel the joy seep out of me. I try and catch it, but it's like trying to hold water in my bare hands. It seems like joy plays hide-and-seek, and I cannot find it. I grow irritable, which doesn't help me feel joyous. I think it will return when springtime comes and the barren ground turns to green and the sky transitions to a brilliant blue. But is joy dependent on the seasons? We grow frustrated when we attempt to conjure joy in our own ways. It feels fake and we develop a wrong belief about it because we've tainted it with our own effort and strength. God is full of joy and delights to share it with us. But how do we grow joy in our life? How do we stop relying on ourselves for it and let circumstances dictate its presence in our lives? I'm a failed gardener. I dream of having a beautiful flower bed, but the weeds won. Except for one plant, a pink yarrow. It grew profusely and spread beyond the flower bed and into the grass. Its soft, feathery leaves remind me that it will grow no matter what I do to it. John 15, 1-17, tells us that to bear fruit we must abide in Jesus. Since joy is a fruit, then abiding in Him must be key to joy, not our circumstances. It's easy to judge our lives based on what our physical eyes see, and then feel disappointment when we don't see what we want to see. But so much of the good God grows in our lives happens below the surface of what our eyes can see. It's a change that occurs when we yield to the Holy Spirit. We stay attached to the vine and trust God's process of transformation to bear fruit, including joy, even when life feels joyless. It's in this place of abiding where we find the most complete joy we could ever know. We do not drift into spiritual maturity. We determine to cooperate with the power of God that is within us. Jesus asks us to obey to remain in Him and to love. As we do these three things, His joy becomes complete in us. Life is full of troubles, agonies, and sorrows. It's also filled with beauty, fun, and laughter. To live life with joy, we must cultivate its fruit in our lives through abiding in the Lord. It's absorbing all our nutrients for spiritual growth from Him and allowing Him to prune us where we need pruning. We can practice joy by focusing on God's heart. The Lord longs to grow you, guide you, and produce joy in you. Choosing joy may be hard at first, but when we persist in it, we will see God turn what is bitter into sweet. You can be the brightest gift to those around you because of the joy that's within you. The Greek word for joy is kara. This means a strong inner sense of gladness that is not based on circumstances, but on the love, grace, blessings, promises, and nearness of God to those who belong to Him through Jesus Christ. On my long winter days where darkness pierces not just the day but my heart, I remember God. I remember how He loves and how He is near me. I remember His grace and mercy. I remember that He is kind and that He is my refuge and strength. This bolsters my heart and fills me with the kind of joy that anchors my heart and keeps me secure through the days of darkness. Let's pray. Holy God, fill me with your joy today. Let me know the rooted inner kind of gladness that comes from abiding in you. You keep me secure when my world crashes down. You shower me with undeserved grace when I fail. Your joy makes me complete. Let me rest in you and allow you to do your work in me so that joy grows as fruit in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. 
If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show.